an international station for an international city. This is Radio 3. Money Talk. Good morning. It's 8.03 in Hong Kong. Welcome to Monday. This is Money Talk on Radio 3 for the 17th of October. Peter Lewis here with the business headlines. China's ruling Communist Party opened its 20th National Congress yesterday, during which President Xi Jinping is expected to be given a historic third five-year term. President Xi kicked off the Congress with a two-hour wide-ranging speech in which he telegraphed key policy priorities for the next five years and outlined the government's foreign policy, economic goals and military ambitions. There was also no sign that the zero Covid policy would be relaxed. He said we put the people and their lives above all else. On the economy, he said high quality development is the top priority of building a socialist modern country with a solid material and technology foundation, suggesting no real departure from the country's economic goals. You're listening to Money Talk on RTHK Radio 3. I'm Jake 24 on the phone from Shanghai is independent economist Andy Share. Morning, Andy. Good morning, Peter. Um, now, I don't know if you spent your Sunday listening to President Xi's speech yesterday, two hours long, and uh, uh, that's a, a shortened version of what was probably a, a three-hour uh, talk. Did you get any impression on the economy, first of all, that there's any change of direction at all or any change in priorities? Uh, not really. I think that this is a long, very long uh, uh, summary of uh, what uh, what has been uh, talked about in the past uh, a few years. So I, 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 an event like that that uh, doesn't spring surprise upon you. But he, he sort of spent some time talking about things like common prosperity. Uh, he mentioned the zero COVID policy. Do you, do you think he acknowledged the, the challenges that China is facing economically? Because he's going to enter his second de- decade in power with some very big economic challenges, isn't he? Do, is, do you think he's, he's aware yeah. and, uh, and acknowledged enough those challenges? Yeah, I think that the, uh, the emphasis is, uh, is that uh, there are other higher priorities uh, than the economy? Uh, you know, it's uh, both in the speech as well as uh, long as it's been long talked about. One is uh, reasserting parties' control over all aspects of the economy and the society, uh, and that uh, achievement was uh, was glorified to, uh, during uh, in the speech. And uh, the the other is national security, uh, and uh, the the rivalry with the government is uh, sh- uh, is shaping both uh, the uh, the national uh, policy as well as people's lives. Uh, so I think that the uh, the the economy is uh, not uh, as, uh, as such a higher priority. I think that the, uh, the government will handle things only when uh, you have to. Like uh, some companies going bankrupt, and uh, and uh, uh, you know something is happening. So it's, it's it's kind of like that. I do not see a systematic uh, systematic policy change to uh, handle the uh, the difficulties and uh, or to revive the economy. You you mentioned the tightened grip of the state and the party. How is that going to affect business opportunities in China? Does it mean that, for example, we're going to see more polarization between state-owned firms and private firms? And is it going to affect uh, the ability of companies to to develop and be entrepreneurial? Yeah, I I think that uh, first is that the the economic uh, situation is not so good. You you look at uh, uh, just uh, go out and walk on the street and you see boarded up shop fronts and uh, it's like it has never happened over the last three decades. And uh, obviously, zero COVID is is is, is uh, really has having a huge impact on 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 the service sector. So I I, I think that. The, uh, <clears throat> Uh, it, it, it's a very difficult situation for a private business. You look at the stock market; it's going down and down and down. To reflect that uh, uh, both the uh, the how difficult the operating environment is, as well as uh, the expectation uh, that in the future things are not going to improve. For for people on the streets that you meet and talk to, are, are they unhappy with this zero COVID policy? Is their unhappiness increasing at all over it? 
Well, we cannot do a national survey on how people view that, but uh, you you can see that uh, most uh, people are not scared of the virus anymore because most people, Chinese people, most uh, mostly are pretty clever. They know that uh, that uh, it's not as serious as before, and uh, other people uh, in people in other countries uh, uh, don't 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 uh, really take it serious anymore. So the the, uh, the that's uh, I I I hear that it's uh, that kind of a view is. Uh, Pretty widespread, and uh, the uh, as far as uh, the, the the negative side, the the impact. Uh, obviously, people in in uh, they they go to work, they they can see their wages go down, uh, bonuses are gone, and uh, so and uh, and and uh, the the price uh, things are becoming more expensive, and people buying less. You mm. go to the supermarket, and it's 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 it's, it's hard to see how. Expensive things are, you know. It's uh, uh, considering that every day uh, that uh, disposable income is is about a hundred ten RMB per day. You look at mm. the 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 prices. It's 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 harder to imagine how people get by. And he mentioned a lot about self sufficiency, particularly in the tech sector. Um, h- how much is China suffering from these latest sanctions from from the U.S. on tech exports? Well, I think that uh, it's slowing down Chinese companies. It's really these kind of exports are only uh, against Chinese companies. But the foreign companies that are producing in China, uh, they're not being affected. And 70% of Chinese exports uh, uh, are from foreign-owned companies. And Chinese exports are rising and is the only bright spot in the Chinese economy. Mm -hmm. So I think the short-term impact is not so big. It's really about uh, slowing down Chinese companies. Okay, Andy. Well, thank you for your thoughts there. That's um, Andy Sher, who is an independence-based economist up in Shanghai. You're listening to Money Talk on RTHK Radio 3.